It is time now for Futures in Focus. The VIX dropping a little. Stocks emerge from a hectic October. Let's cross over to the CME where Tim Mulholland of TJM Limited joins us. Tim, what's happening with the dollar right now? It's stronger, you know, in some senses, but it's backed off its strength of recent days. Yeah, I mean, the trend in the dollar, short term at least, still looks like it's up, even though we've had this pullback. I mean, we were up, what, almost, what, um, over... 2%, almost 2.5% last month. So some sort of pullback probably is in order. But I think the trend for the dollar still, to me, looks like short term, that is, at least higher. Short term higher. What about crude? We're at 65.07, perilously close to the $65 mark. Why does it continue to drop? Well, I think when you take a look at the spreads for, number one, the WTI spreads, you know, we were backwardation, meaning the nearby months were trading higher than deferred months in a negative carry market. And now it's shifting back to contango. And what that reflects is supplies. So U.S. producers have really produced a lot. And the course is landlocked and Cushing. Now, to me, I look at the Brent spread, which is still out of 10 bucks. That's the world market. So I think there's a little bit of a divergence. So I'm, I think the crude probably is in a good support area here, 60, 65, good level. But I think what it tells me more is domestic refiners to me look like it's a very attractive play for them in that their feedstock is lower and their output is higher. So there's a good spread for domestic refiners. Tim, how are you playing around with VIX? We had an elevated VIX for the last few days. We're back down now to 20. It feels like the whole market is calming down after having you know, reached some extremes at the end of October. Yeah, you know, I saw an article today uh, that, that uh, talked about individual stock uh, VIX volatility, you know, reached, I say, the mid-30s, where the VIX only reached the mid-20s. So it was, it was, I think, more of a rebalancing thing and an index phenomenon that we saw out of passive investing, uh, the sell-off. But I do think what you're seeing is a divergence because our, our, our volatility did meet, meet a lower peak than it did in February. So I think it's a good divergence. I like to buy the VIX around 18, though.